A little girl died from a blood clot days after she was sent home by a doctor to take Isabel in Baticum, 7, was initially diagnosed with a tummy bug after she complained of breathing problem. Her family are demanding answers after she tragically died on February 12th at the University of Wales Hospital. A distraught mum Janine told Wales Online how a GP told her to take paracetamol and Calpol two weeks before she was later admitted to hospital after visiting a different doctor who believed she had a chest infection. However, the happy, bubbly seven-year-old was actually suffering from a pulmonary embolism, a blockage in the artery and after initially responding well to treatment, her condition worsened on February 11th and she was transferred to intensive care. Janine, 40, of Cardiff, said she felt her heart stopping when doctors told her that Isabel Ann was fighting for her life. She said, they're shoving all these pipes in her everywhere and pumping different things and how did she get so ill? Doctors told the family the child was being taken to a hospital in Bristol so specialists could treat her blood. Yet, as Janine and husband Stephen prepared to travel, they were told to come back to the hospital in Wales immediately as their daughter. Janine said, from start to finish, from going to the doctors to going to the hospital and when she died, I just don't understand why they took so long to diagnose. We're just devastated. She added, she was a happy, bubbly, funny little always with a smile on her face. She loved her school and she had a lot of She was just the life and soul of everything. A GoFundMe account has been set up to help the family with funeral costs. A spokesperson for Cardiff and Vale University Health Board said, Our condolences are with the family at this incredibly sad time. The family are receiving additional support by our bereavement nurse and they will continue to support them.